I actually have no idea what's in this box. So generally when I do unbox and swatch videos, I like to include a portion of me actually unboxing it because sometimes how the product was shipped matters a lot. Sometimes companies don't pack things so well. Sometimes things are packaged beautifully and I want to use that as an opportunity to champion a small business. I do not remember what I ordered from Stationery Pal. I don't remember ordering anything recently from Stationery Pal. So this is a surprise to me. So whatever this is, assumably stationary, probably art supplies, came wrapped in one of these like kind of dusty pink wrappers. I'm pretty used to these coming from like AliExpress. I am not a fan of these wrappers at all because they are, they're, they're not biodegradable. They feel gross on the hands. It's just a lot of plastic, especially considering there is a box inside. Now, if this was sent to me care of I don't remember doing that and uh, or agreeing to it so I'm sorry if I'm stepping on any toes or hurting any feelings but I I legit like do not remember this and if one of you guys sent this to me thank you guys so much um I don't know I like this box this box is very very cute and as you guys can see, it says stationary pal, uh, pal on the back. All about stationary. Let's open it up. It's, I mean, it is super cute. I, th I think this was sent, I think I'm on somebody's PR list, which, thank you. I, got, I don't know. I don't remember this. I don't remember talking to anybody about this. And I'm a little worried because I don't give out my mailing address. So I'm like, it had my name on it. What is this? Maybe somebody did this for me. Maybe Joseph did this for me. Maybe I shouldn't have opened this. Okay. Well, I'm already this deep. So we're going to go into it. So um, it looks like it's a subscription box. You guys can tell this is 100% blind. We have a tiny little bear in it. Oh, now I remember ordering this. Wow, it's been a few. Okay, all right, now I remember this. So some of these are freebies because we also have a cell phone bracket. And uh, I have one that I like. Okay, now I remember this. We have a card that says you are possum. Yeah, now I remember. They were having a Black Friday sale. Ooh, okay. So this is an 18% off discount code for 2023 is coming, which is valid until J December 31st. <gasps> I may have to edit that out. We have a lot of... It's very cutely packaged. I have to be really careful about this because I have a cat and a rat, and um, they will both eat this. Thank you, Stationery Pal. Dear Rebecca, thank you for always being our biggest support. And we are so blessed to have you on this journey. Here's a gift for you. Showcase your package on Instagram and tag at Stationery Pal for repost and free special gifts. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. But they also have a YouTube. Why didn't they say YouTube? I do YouTube. To be careful. Careful with this. Careful with this. So they were having a sale. And I decided to stock up on stuff that I would use. Jeez, I think they, they threw in some freebies too. Because Yeah, I'm pretty sure they threw in some freebies. That's kind of cute though. Okay, so I ordered a... I actually am not into Harry Potter at all. Um, little, I was a little old for it when it came out. Not for me. Uh, but this is a glue dot thing and I ordered it because it is a glue dot thing and I use glue dot things all the time. We also have here a Pentel Milky Brush. We have here, I think that's another freebie. <laughs> we have a ridiculously small and cute cell phone chair. We have a gel pen. We have some pretty, these are like post-its. They're like page flags with watercolor. We have a cute 
little, um, these are also post-its. They are like fall leaves. Everything was on pretty significant, pretty significant clearance. So this was all like a dollar each, maybe two dollars. A foam pure slim eraser. We have another, I think these are clear if I remember correctly. And they're like rainbow post-its. We have, what is, oh yeah, I think it's a fountain pen with pipettes. We have like, it's not a Lego rose, but it's like a Lego rose. And I got two of them because I actually really like the Lego botanicals. We're in the, we're working on the Lego bonsai right now. We've got a plastic mono smart slim eraser. We've got, oh wait, we've got a lot of wash. We have another man this one didn't even come in a box i think it's a succulent i don't remember what it is we have some more of the bow hang watercolor i guess i should have ordered a couple pads of this and this is a cotton rag paper and it's fine we have some more cute transparent sticky notes we have some more of the watercolor page markers we have another eraser, another milky brush, this time in white. We have a small acrylic palette. I don't even remember if I ordered this. That's the problem. I appreciate all the freebies, but I, oh my gosh, it's heart bubble wrap. I legit don't remember what I ordered. And they didn't include a packing receipt. So I don't remember how much I spent. I don't remember what I ordered. That's, this is super great. What is, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now my friend Kabocha also sent me a glass dip pen. But this one seemed a little bit different. Also it's very cheap. So I need, it, I think it has like a smaller nib on it. I need to play with those. I'm getting art influencered by other artists who make them look so cute. This bubble wrap wrapping is super duper cute. And then we have some rolls of washi tape. So I wish I could tell you how much this all cost. No clue. No thoughts. Brain is empty. Also, no receipt. The packaging is very cute. If this was a Christmas gift, it would be ready to go. Um, I It's just super cute. And I feel kind of bad throwing it away. But uh, I cannot be hoarding the packaging supplies too much because that will just be my whole life but it is very 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 cute also I'm pretty sure in my order I didn't mark anything about doing YouTube or anything like that so ideally like everyone would receive something of this caliber you know what I mean I look at all this and I think impulse control problems because this is a lot of stuff. Man, when stationary sites have a sale, it's like I lose my mind and that's not a good thing. So I did want to like unwrap a couple of these with you guys. I don't think I purchased any of this to review it. I just thought it looked cute and I like eat sticky notes and I am always on the lookout for good erasers. So I, th I think I was just taking advantage of a sale. But let's, let's start with this. I'm not gonna do the fake Lego sets today. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna do them on camera because uh, I do that as like a anxiety thing when I'm having like a late night and I'm spinning out. Um, but if you guys are curious about these, let me know and I can like report back. Oh, that's cute. Look at that, it's so little and so cute. And then we have, they sent a little teddy bear to go with it. I wonder if I can give this to Basil if I wash it. But it's, I'm stupid and it's so cute. I also apologize if you guys can hear my washing machine. I was not planning on recording today, but this came in and I wanted to get it unboxed and that way I could throw the packaging away as quick as possible. Just trying to be good about that. Okay, so then we have the Pentel Arts milky brush and teeny tiny packaging this is one of those things so it's a brush with water-based pigment ink actually you know what i may set these aside and actually 
talk about these on a day when I have more time to do so. So I will put those off to the side. And then we have our watercolor sticky notes, basically. So Byakugan, Noshi Mihana, Ioni, Fuji, okay, Fuji Murasaki. There we go. And I'm sure, I'm sure someone will correct my pronunciation, and I'll just accept. I'll accept that. Okay. So, anyone else who's into this kind of stationery, do you get upset if someone else throws away not this kind of packaging? I don't care about this kind of packaging. But if someone were to separate these from the backer, would that make you upset? Let me know down in the comments. So. These are, okay, okay, they're flags, and you have to tear them yourself, which I don't love. Uh, but it does mean you could go with bigger flags if you wanted to, or you could use the whole thing as a sticky note. So that's actually, that's kind of cute. I am always using sticky notes for like a thousand things, whether I'm marking up books that I'm reading, or I am marking up my sketchbook so I can only, so that I focus on scanning the images that I most want to scan instead of spending the time scanning the whole dang thing. Or um, I take notes and leave them for myself. Like I really use sticky notes for all kinds of things. So I figured these would, they're very cute, they're very aesthetic, they could like go with my con stuff, or I could use them in videos, or I figured they would get used. So I wish I could tell you how much I spent on them, but I got them on sale and I don't have a receipt as we can see. So let's move on to the other types of sticky notes. These are just so super cute. Look at them, they're almost too pretty to use. I should use them in an art piece, I think. And then we have the clear ones. They're probably kind of plasticky. What are, oh, no, they're like tracing paper. Oh, they're pretty. Ooh, they're pretty. I'm so, so easily amused. They're very pretty. Oh, and this one comes with a cute little ruler. I just, oh, and it also has like a wavy stencil. See, this is why you don't throw away the packaging. It has dual use. This one's the plasticky kind. And it's probably just meant to highlight something else. So you could even use it as a frame with your art, you know, underneath it. That's pretty cute. Now washi tape, this is not, this is inexpensive washi tape for sure. Mm, mm, okay, maybe not. It might be, it's like in that in-between zone between like MT washi tape, which is like so good, and like Amazon washi tape, which is like barely passable. But I use a lot, a lot of washi tape for lots of things from packaging to like when I'm doing watercolor tutorials with y'all. So this will get used. Then we have our Harry Potter tape runner. I just want to make it like really clear that I do not agree with or endorse anything JK Rowling says at all. So this thing is, I don't understand why they glued it in addition to packing it, but it's a, it's just a pretty simple little tape or glue runner. It doesn't have a super amount of glue in it, but it's, this kind of stuff is really handy for like paper crafts. And I do tend to do a few paper crafts throughout the year. Usually I'll share them with you guys. So this will, this will end up getting used. I may have to put like a sticker on top of it though. So next is the fountain pen. And I do actually use fountain pens pretty frequently. This one could actually be an eyedropper conversion if I wanted it to. It looks like because there is an o-ring in there. Um, I am going to have to clean it out though before I can actually load it up. Yeah, I think this will hold ink in and of itself, which is perfect. I love eyedropper conversions because I find that the cartridges just never hold enough ink. Ah, oh, yes, they were smart and included an eyedropper in it. Yes. And I use fountain pens mostly just for day-to-day -day writing. I find that it makes me slow down my writing, so my terrible, illegible handwriting is like a little bit more legible. So that's one of the reasons I like them. And then these are just like good 
gel pens. I'll probably toss this one towards Joseph because I get accused of stealing his pens pretty frequently. Might toss this one at him as well. Give him a little holiday spirit. And then we have the erasers. So pretty simple. Just a Kokuyo block style eraser. White vinyl. That's my preference. It comes with a... So they did come in pastel colors. I went with white because I find white erasers just tend to erase best. The colorful erasers tend to be a little bit harder actually. And it came with a refill which is great because it's kind of a weird shape. And then we've just got some like smaller size erasers. White vinyl again. We've got a... or maybe white PVC. White something eraser. This one is a Sakura Pure Slim. You guys probably can't really see it, but it's got like perforated lines on it so that you can actually tear the wrapper down while you use it, which I like because I usually have to cut them when it comes to monos. And then this is another small size eraser. So these are gonna go live in my pencil case. We have our Bao Hang Academy watercolor pad. I've actually talked about these and reviewed these here on the channel, so I'm not even going to wrap this one. I'm just going to put it with my other ones. And we have our acrylic palette, which has that foam on it to protect it, not foam, film, to protect it in transit. Now, like I said, since they didn't include a receipt, which would have been nice, uh, I, I can't, like, most of this stuff, I'm like, yeah, I remember ordering that. This I don't actually remember ordering because I'm not an acrylics or oil painter. I do watercolor, and usually I prefer to paint on ceramic. So, uh, I'll probably use this, but I do not... I, I think this might have been a throw in. This film is really hard. I like how I am definitely not doing the satisfying peelings for you guys. I'm also trying to talk over my house's noises because like I said, I wasn't planning on recording today and I've misplaced my lavalier mic. So the audio is just perfection coming from me today. Actually, this could kind of work with alcohol markers where you can scribble and pick up another color. So I will put that over with my alcohol markers and maybe it will see some use. And then finally, the glass pin, which is very pretty, a little bit smaller than my other one and probably super fragile, but at least they sent it with a little nubbin of like PVC pipe to protect it. So that is going to go live with the one Kabocha sent me. You guys can see. Let me get it off. It's a larger one. Actually, that should they, they look like they were meant to go together. And that should work out really nicely because we have the blunter point and then we have the finer point. Let me know if you want like a shorts. And by that I mean YouTube shorts, TikTok review of these. I'm not going to like assemble them on camera because like I mentioned earlier, these are more like an anxiety activity. But if, I mean, I've seen these like on Amazon as well and kind of wondered if they were any good. So if you're curious how these compare to their Lego counterparts, I've done the Lego counterparts. So I actually have experience with that and I would be happy to do it as a short for you guys if you're curious. But otherwise, I am going to go put these with some of my other Lego sets and that way I can work on them and add to my Lego flower bouquet when I'm feeling anxious and need a calming activity that isn't art and isn't, isn't monetarily focused. And finally, to demonstrate the ridiculous little cell phone chair, this is Joseph's phone. It works in vertical. It works in horizontal and someone is calling him. So I will just put that away and it folds. This thing is ridiculous. So I hope you guys enjoyed my very impromptu stationary pal haul. I really was not planning on necessarily doing a haul video with it since this is all just stuff I'm going to use and have no intention of reviewing, but I figured I would share with you guys and the packaging was just very cute. 
and I totally forgotten about it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun because I sure did. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.